Apple has just made their September 10th event official. Google has just landed a gigantic Android KitKat in their front lawn, and believe it or not, Microsoft buys Nokia. I'm Jaime Rivera, and can somebody kindly ask these companies to please announce their things one day apart from each other? This is Pocket Now Daily. Oh man, today has been one of those days that's full of announcements, and that's actually positive. I just wish that they would just announce things one day apart from each other, but Apple is first. They had now sent press invitations for their September 10th event, and usually they say, let's talk iPhone or let's talk iPad. This time they don't say anything, but judging by all the dots in the invitation, it's clear that we get all the colors that we will find on the next iPhone 5C and probably iPhone 5S, so stay tuned for our live coverage happening on September 10th. And speaking of surprises, Google has landed this gigantic Android KitKat in their front lawn. So yeah, Android 4.4 KitKat is the name of their next version of Android. Sadly, we don't have any details. We don't know when it's going to be launched, what phone is going to be launched with it. But, you know, just wait for the iPhone's launch and most probably in the next couple of weeks we'll get that. But again, leave us a comment down below. Would you have preferred Key Lime Pie instead of KitKat? It seems like a whole Nestle sponsorship here. Now let's talk about Sony and their EFA event happening tomorrow morning. We've got the leaked press renders and press information on the Xperia Z1, which was the previous Honami. And we also get more information on the CyberShot. Now they're being dubbed CyberShot, those lens cameras that are coming for smartphones. Obviously, the event happens tomorrow morning. Our own Michael Fisher and Anton Dinoch will be covering everything, hands-on, everything you want. And then we'll be hosting a hangout happening at 1 p.m. Eastern, where we will be covering the Samsung event live. But obviously, we will be talking about what we saw at Sony, so make sure you stay tuned for our coverage. And if you thought that the Moto X was the only thing under Google and Motorola sleeve, well, we've got the Motorola DVX at the FCC right now, and it's actually in two units. You remember all those leaks of a European Moto X that would be more affordable and have replaceable backplates, and well, this is the device. We don't know if one device is going to Europe and the other for the United States. It's kind of hard to know right now, but it's kind of harsh that, you know, the cheaper, more affordable phones get the replaceable backplates and also the replaceable batteries, and you can't get that with a more expensive model, so let's see what goes. And finally, for the incredibly hot news of the day, yes, believe it or not, Microsoft has just made official that they're buying Nokia for around $7 billion, which is a lot less than they paid for Skype. And yes, Stephen Elop returns to Microsoft as a Microsoft employee now. Uh, yeah, Nokia will remain being a company. They'll be in charge of their networking solutions and everything, that whole venture that they have with Siemens. So that still remains, but their mobile device division goes to Microsoft now. And it's just interesting. I mean, that leads me to the question of the day. Um, do you believe that this whole Microsoft Nokia purchase is actually part of a bigger plan? You know, honestly, it's just interesting. I mean, the way things are going, it seems that they're actually just looking to make Nokia more affordable since the beginning so that they could be able to buy it. That's pretty much what's happened so far with this partnership. And it's hard to know if this will actually bring better units, better products to Nokia and Microsoft. Let's just hope they do. But leave us a comment down below. What are you expecting? And do you think that this is actually a good or a bad thing? And do you think that it was part of a plan or not? I kind of think it was. Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow as we've got all the live coverage of everything that happens at IFA with Sony and Samsung during the morning. So please stay tuned.